Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Sam. I'm so grateful that you decided to click on my video. And for today's video, I have this super cool makeup look. I am so in love with that, how this turned out. I am so proud of it. Um, I mentioned in the video that I've been like dipping my toes in like trying to use more color and here we are uh, with this kind of like tutorial. I go a little bit more in depth as to like the technique that I use to blend my shadow as well as doing like my cut crease. So if you are interested in learning how I did this makeup look then just keep on watching. Oh and before we get started please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there. I don't know what's going on with my SD card. Um, I was recording and it stopped recording after like 30 seconds. So... I just use my um, concealer, the L'Oreal Infallible Wear Full Wear, um, in the shade 355 Vanilla to um, prep my my eyebrows, <laughs> to prep my eyelids. I want to do like a really colorful look. I want to do a blue look today. I've been t dipping my toes in like using colors. Today I'm going to be using the EYN um, Beauty Bay Bright Bright Matte Palette. And I've had this palette for so long, but I had, I don't know, like, I, I'm, like, kind of scared of color, but like I said, I'm dipping my toes and trying to, like, use my color. So, this is the palette right here. It's all matte. It has, I don't know how many shadows, and it's only $20. And the pigment is amazing. I mean, you can use any shadows that you have at home, like, always. I'm just, you know, I just have this palette, so it's the one that I'm going to use. So after this, I will be filming the um, Juvia's Place foundation review, and I'm so excited. Um, if you guys haven't watched, I uploaded my Per Cosmetics um, foundation review up here, and I'll link it up here in the description box. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a Morphe R41, which is kind of like a pencil uh, brush, but it's a little bit thicker. And I'm going to go in first with the color Bobbing Along, which is this one right here. And I'm going to pack my brush and then tapping, out, uh, tapping the excess out and then I'm going to be placing that right on my crease right here. And I'm going to be repeating this a lot so just keep building that color. So the trick to be able to like blend your shadows. I've been, um, I used to do like first a transition color and now like I've been watching and learning more about like different techniques and I think this one has been working much better for me and it's placing the deepest color or the darkest color from kind of like the color scheme that you're going to do in your crease and then you can blend upwards. Your lighter shade obviously is going to be all the way at the top. And I've also noticed that my my shadows don't look as muddy um, as they used to before when I would do uh, the transition color and, and then work my way kind of like from lighter to darker. So I feel like with this technique, it's way easier to blend your colors and they don't look muddy. After that color, I'm going to take uh, Morphe E18, which is extremely similar to the other, to the other brush. Um, this is another like pencil brush but it's a little bit thicker. I'm going to take the color Pacific Dreams which is this one right here. It's a little bit um, lighter than that one but still like kind of like a deep blue. And now I'm going to be placing that shade up here. So on top of that and kind of like on top of the end of that shadow. And I'm just kind of like stapling it in. I'm not going to, I'm not going to rub I'm just gonna kind of like tap it in like this and slowly we're gonna be um, blending it because I have hooded eyes I tend to like raise my brows a little bit just so that I know or I can see exactly where I'm putting that shade because if I like let my like eyes drop you can see I have like a lot of like extra skin there as you can see it's slowly blending right here so and I've only been like putting in the color and kind of like tapping it now that I've placed those colors I'm gonna go in with a I almost dropped my brush with a more fluffy brush this is a um, Morphe M506 which is one of my favorite brushes ever to blend out now like kind of like my outer um, shade so now what I'm going to take is I'm going to take the color Paradise 
which is the lighter shade. This one right here. And I'm going to be using very, kind of like very tiny circular motions to start blending that outer blue. So just very, very tiny circular motions. And I'm actually not putting a lot of pressure on my brush. I'm actually like grabbing it kind of like towards the end of the brush. So that helps you not put a lot of pressure on the brush. I feel like since I started doing more like colorful looks, I feel like I've become more patient when I'm doing my makeup because it has taught me that like patience is key that you're blending and making sure that you're taking your time and not trying to like rush through it. And then just so that we don't have that harsh look right here, I'm going to go in with a lighter blue. I'm going to go with this one which is a lighter um, kind of like seafoam um, bluish green. And I'm going to blend again with really light pressure. Now we're going to um, start the process of going in with the other shades now. So I'm going to be taking the first, um, the Morphe, no this is the second one we used. I'm going to take, um, where is it? Oh this one. I'm going to go in with the R41 which is the first blue that we used and we're going to go in and put that shade again. And I'm going to pack my, uh, my brush and again going in with tapping motions. And then I'm going to go in with the other one, E18, which is the other blue, which is a lighter blue than that one. Going over my upper crease. So once you're ready to blend these colors, so the I want to say like the upper like two shades right here, that's when I take the fluffy brush and I start using very light circular motions to blend. I'm going to take another M506 brush and now I'm going to go in on the, with the color Seamus which is the one that we skipped earlier and I'm going to grab that and I'm going to use it to transition this uh, kind of like royal blue to this lighter blue and I'm going to use very light like circular motions to blend that in. Now I'm going to be cutting my crease and I'm going to be using my infallible full coverage uh, concealer that I used to prep my uh, eyelids and I'm going to use a Morphe M421 which is, I've been loving this to carve up my eyebrows and um, like carve up my cut creases and it's just so tiny in like the perfect like shape that yeah, so I'm going to be using that one. I'm going to put the concealer kind of like in the back of my hand. The way that I do like my cut creases because I have um, like hooded eyes, I place concealer kind of like right here. And then I look up. And it kind of like makes a mark. And that means that that's where kind of like with my hooded eyes, that's where the eyeshadow will transfer. So that's going to be kind of like where I'm going to be creating my cut crease. So... I'm marking it and then I kind of like just follow along. So now that I have it like that, I don't want to have this like harsh line so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab that first shadow that I placed on my crease which is kind of like the deeper blue and I'm going to be placing that right here so that I can blend it and again I'm just using like tapping motions to place this color 
And then I kind of like use my finger just to like melt kind of like the shadow and the concealer together. And then I'm going to go in on that seafoam green that we use kind of like transition right here. With a fluffier brush. This is the Morphe M506. And placing it right here. Again, just tapping motions. And I'm just using kind of like tapping motions to blend those two sh uh, shadows. Just take my finger and I kind of like pat on top of that. So on top of the concealer with the two shadows, kind of like melting them together. So then I took my Zuba Beauty um, Hydra Liners and I took the uh, color Space Panda and the color Scrunchy, which is kind of like a super neon pink. And I combined those two and these eyeliners are amazing. You just activate them with water. And I made the, the this is like a super pretty like pink. So I'm going to do that as a liner now. I put a little bit of my concealer underneath my um, like on my lower lash line so that I can go ahead and work on my lower lash line before I do my whole face I don't want any fallout I know that I didn't get actually any fallout from um, the actual like shadows sorry I'm like trying to open the shadows um, the eyeshadow palette so I'm gonna go in with the first shade that we used and I'm gonna be patting it lower lash line and I know it looks kind of like harsh but we're gonna blend it out girl don't you worry I'm gonna go in with that 506 M506 if I can find it literally I just spend a good like 15 minutes uh, trying to find this I like looked in this little thing where I keep my my the ones that I use every day and it wasn't here and I looked everywhere and then I was like you know what I'm just gonna look again and it was in there like what like who's trying to play me going with this one and then with this one now for my waterline I'm gonna take a white eyeliner and this is the NYX retractable eyeliner and I'm just gonna be putting that on my waterline and then what you can do is you can always put a shadow on top of that liner so that's what I'm gonna try right now from that um, same palette I'm gonna grab this pink right here and then putting it on top of that liner throw some lashes on I'm gonna go and do that first impression of the Juvia's Place um, foundation and I'll be right back to show you guys kind of like the whole entire final look I'm gonna grab a little bit of my Too Faced glitter glue in the back of my hand because I'm gonna put in my inner corner and it's gonna be magical just wait and see you guys are gonna be amazed at this just grabbing the back of a brush and I'm going to be putting it on my inner corner. And then I'm going to grab, this is the Peaches Makeup and Pigment in the color, or in the shade Mermaids. I'm going to grab a fluffy brush. This is another M506 by carefully placing that in your inner corner. a little bit of um, mascara on my upper and lower lashes 
just to blend my lashes with the falsies. So that is it for this makeup tutorial. I am so, so happy with it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new and learned about my technique. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and the little button down there. As always, the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media and I hope you guys follow me there as well. If you have any requests, please leave them down in the comment section and until then, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!